In this video, I'll show you how to conditionally hide the My Account menu in your WooCommerce store in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so throughout this video, I'm going to show you how to achieve two things. Okay, so the first, I'm going to show you how to conditionally hide this My Account menu link here. Okay, so maybe we want to hide this My Account link to logged out customers, but when a customer is logged in, then we do want to show this My Account um, link. Okay, and then the second half of this video, I'm going to show you how you can individually hide specific menu items from this default WooCommerce menu option here. Okay, so let's say for example if we're running a retail store then maybe we don't want to show the download section okay because it's not relevant to our customers so i'm going to show you how you can quickly hide this section here and then finally if you want to create a custom my account page similar to this one i'll link to a video in the description below where i explain to you exactly how you can create this okay so without further ado let's get straight into the tutorial the first thing we're going to do as i said we're going to conditionally hide this menu link here and then finally i'm going to show you how you can remove individual menu items from the my account dashboard here okay okay so to conditionally hide this my account link here we're going to be using the WeSuite restriction rules plugin okay so just head over to WeSuite.com go ahead and download the WeSuite restriction rules plugin once you've done so let's head over to our dashboard Okay, so here we are in our WordPress dashboard. Assuming you've downloaded the WeSuite restriction rules plugin, go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll just go plugins, add new. Once you've done so, you see this WeSuite menu here. Go ahead and activate your key. Then it will automatically redirect you to this add-ons page here. And then from here, we can actually enable the restriction rules plugin. Okay, so we'll just scroll down and then we'll go ahead and enable this restriction rules plugin okay so we don't actually need to configure any um, settings here all it will do is when we navigate to appearance and then menu we'll have some extra options here okay so here we can see my my account link when i click on this we'll have a few extra options so so we can display to everyone to guest users which are users logged out of your site or to a specific user role okay in this particular case i'm going to display it to a particular user role so i'm going to display it to admin um, to our subscriber and also our customer as well so when we save this menu this my account link won't be visible to logged out users and just to double check we'll copy this url here we'll open up a private browser and then we'll see if we can see our my account link okay so our my account page isn't displaying to logged out users which is perfect and when we check the same um, menu item we can see that the my account page is displaying because we're currently logged in as a admin right and we specified it to show to admin subscribers and customers okay so with that out of the way i'm going to show you how you can hide um, specific links when you're on this dashboard page here okay so let's say for example this download link here let's say we didn't want to display this all we're going to do is we're going to right click and then we're going to click on inspect okay and then from here we'll click this um, selector icon here and we basically just want to select this download link here okay and what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the class name okay so we can see a few different class here so we can see woocommerce my account navigation link okay that's too generic because this applies to all the links so we've got more specific code here i'll leave this specific class in the description as well so you can reuse this class okay some theme might change it but generally it should be the same class okay so we'll copy this class and then we will open our customizer so i've just opened it in a new tab and then we're going to click on additional css Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and paste in that class that we copied, okay? So since it's a class, we're gonna add a period before the class, okay? With no spaces in between. So we've got our class here, and then we're gonna do curly brackets, okay? And it's automatically added a closed curly brackets for us, which is fine. And then we're just gonna type display, okay? And then colon, and then we're gonna write none, okay? And then we're just gonna close it off with a with a semicolon okay and then on the front end we are no longer able to see that download link okay so this is just one way of doing it we can hide it via code but for this particular purposes i think just hiding it via css should do and i'll leave this specific code in the description below so you can just copy over to your site if you're using element or any other page builder you can copy in this um, custom code and it should trigger on the front end. So we're just gonna hit publish, okay? And that's 
saved fine. So we'll refresh this page and let's just double check whether this download um, link's displaying or not. Okay, so we can no longer see our download link and you can use the same process for any other um, menu items. Let's say you didn't want to show the account details link, for example, it's the same process. We just get the class name. Okay, so we'll click on this option here. We'll go ahead and select the menu item. We can see the class name is WooCommerce dash my account dash navigation link um, dash 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 edit account. Okay, so we basically just copy this and I'll just quickly show you since it's open in a new tab and then we can do this. Okay. Okay. So since again, since it's a class, we'll add a period or a full stop. And then we'll go ahead at our curly brackets, open curly brackets, close curly brackets. We'll add display um, and then none. Okay. Then semicolon. Okay. And now we can no longer see our edit um, account page. Okay, one final thing as well. So I've teased it in the intro. If you did want to further customize this um, account dashboard page, I'll leave a link to this particular article here. Okay, how to customize the WooCommerce My Account page. So we've got a video there as well, and we've got the steps um, written down here. So you can truly customize your My Account page if that's of interest to you. Okay, and that's how we can hide a particular menu item if a customer is not logged in, or we can just remove any other irrelevant um, information that we don't need on our My Account page. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below. I will get back to you as soon as possible.